Should I live as if I'm going to die today or tomorrow? Dear Alexander, 34. How would I live if I was going to die in six months? Now, on the other hand, how would I live if I was going to die in 60 years? This is the question. The old adage that one should live as if they were going to die tomorrow is fundamentally wrong for my life. Option one, live as if you're going to die soon or tomorrow. This is the first scenario. So if I knew I was going to die in the near future, what would I do? How would I behave? Well, I don't know if I'd work on all these projects I'm working on. I probably wouldn't check my emails. I wouldn't necessarily try and seek more knowledge out. I wouldn't worry about falling asleep and waking up at a certain time. I probably wouldn't worry about getting a lot of sleep or getting high quality sleep and, and, and eating really high quality foods because I knew I was going to die soon. What did it matter? I wouldn't talk as much, perhaps. I'd probably listen more and observe more. And I wouldn't do almost any of the things I'm doing now to create a better future for myself. To live with the vigor that death is imminent is to forgo effort towards creating a more prosperous future for myself. Why would I care about working towards a future that I knew I wouldn't be here to live? However, human life is not idiosyncratic. It's not just about the individual. My efforts trickle down and affect others. It becomes systemic. To know I was going to die within a short time frame, let's call it under years, you know, one, two years, this would cause a dramatic shift away from working towards a more prosperous future for myself, towards immensely and deeply experiencing the wonders of the human experience within the natural world while being of service to others. So I'd want to uplift people around me and I'd want to fully experience the human experience as maximally as possible in, in the short time period that I have left within this natural world. I would see as much and experience as much and taste as much and, and, and go as far as I could and deep as I could. Now, the difference is people don't necessarily, people can have that perspective on their day to day, but they don't necessarily live like that every day. At least I haven't met a person like that. They do periods of time of that type of approach and then they'll come back and they'll, yeah, we're going to work to the future now so we can do that again. Anyway, what about option two? Let's live as if we're going to die later. Now that sounds great in of itself. Why wouldn't I want to do that all the time? The pursuit of bettering oneself and mastering one's mind over a lifetime whilst being of service to others is one of the sweetest, most satisfying gifts offered by life. But it's dependent on the assumption of an 80 to 100 year old quality life. The assumption is statistically probable, but far from guaranteed. So what do I do? Live as if I was going to die soon or live as, as if I were going to die later? Why do we have to pick? Both. It's not binary. I would, will, and must live with the gratitude and vigor that everything can be taken away. That's number one, understanding that everything can be taken away in a moment's notice, the lights can go out. But at the same time, I must also seek and attain betterment for myself while serving others, uplifting others via my pursuit of excellence, my profession, my vocation, this. And during this process, I am free and able to periodically disconnect from the pursuit of self to engage in the deeply wondrous world that I inhabit. Right now, this is my magic to living a wondrous, excellent life. I get on the treadmill, and then I step off onto another path, and I get back on. Off and on, off and on, off and on. And it's like a DNA strand that just keeps going. Helixing back and forth. And right now, I think that's how I can live a great life.